Here's the 10 dumbest things we're being asked to believe about the war on Gaza. 1. That Israel had no idea what Hamas was up to prior to October 7th, but ever since October 7th has known about every hospital, mosque, school, refugee camp, and water tower that Hamas is hiding in. 2. That the blame for all the deaths caused by Israeli weapons launched by Israel rests solely on Hamas. 3. That Hamas is using human shields, meaning Hamas bases are hidden amidst civilian populations, yet Israel is managing to kill thousands of civilians without doing any meaningful damage to Hamas. 4. That it would be perfectly fine to murder children by the thousands, even if they were being used as human shields, as though resolving a hostage situation by mowing down thousands of child hostages would be regarded as reasonable and acceptable by the public if it happened in our own country. 5. That it is only by pure coincidence that Israel bombing Hamas targets and civilian infrastructure and residential buildings just so happens to look exactly the same as what you'd expect to see if Israel was simply bombing civilian infrastructure and residential buildings and lying about its reasons for doing so. 6. That satellite images of entire neighborhoods reduced to rubble in Gaza have been caused by precision strikes directed solely at Hamas and have been carried out with the greatest of care for human life, despite Israeli officials openly saying that the emphasis is on damage and not on accuracy in this assault, and that Gaza will eventually turn into a city of tents, there will be no buildings. 7. That this bombing campaign has anything to do with freeing Israeli hostages, as though the bombing campaign itself has not killed dozens of hostages, and as though anyone believes Israel would stop bombing Gaza after the hostages are returned. 8. That the only reason anyone could possibly oppose the detonation of thousands of bombs on an open-air prison full of children would be if they had very strong and hateful opinions toward the members of the religion of Judaism. 9. That Hamas attacked Israel solely out of the blue and completely unprovoked, just because they are evil and hate Jews. 10. That Washington is powerless to stop this genocide that it is directly funding and supplying.